Hold on, I'm trying to fix this here. Because... There we go, okay. No more eye exercise. Hey, teacup, how are you doing? Hi, Wheatsy, Tickety Boo. Hi, a couple new people. Um, hey, Peace and Little. Hi, Martha. Hi, Sean. Hi, Beth. Hello, J Bells. Hello, Nanette. How are you? Hi, Mary. Cardinals. Giving us a chorus. Hi, Mary. Uh, Butterfly. Renee. Hello there. Hi, Cheryl. I have a happy mail from Carla Kate. I feel like I forgot someone else, too. But Hey, Florida. Hi, Twiggy. Evie. Hi, Just Alice. Okay, so let's see what we have here. I can see these really cool copper shopping carts, which are really, really neat. Um, hi, Margie. Hi, Georgia. Let me open these up. Heather's going to say, I, Heather, plain Heather's going to say, open packages every day now. Okay. So. Okay. Oh, this is really cool. I thought this was two shopping carts, but it's not. It's one of those really cool double decker ones. And copper, that is so cute. <gasps> oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, that is so cute. And look what it says. It says, mini shopping trolley. Oh, this is really cute, Makarla. That is really cute. Wow. That's really nice. Thank you. And then she got me chocolate. Yay. Thank you, Aero Bars. Thank you so much. I like those. And then, uh oh socks. Koala socks, designed in Australia. Very nice, thank you. I love the koala bears. And, oh, there we have something. A little gift bag. It's in here. And this says, I love Australia. Australia think less, love more. Oh, it's a little notepad. Look at that. What what kind of creature is that? What is this? It's got claws. <coughs> Anybody know what this is? Wombat? I was going to say a wombat. Is that a wombat? And this really cute little bag. Well, it looks like it's quilted. Very nice. It says, make it pop. Thank you very much. Wow. That's great. Packed everything nice here with this foam. Thank you, Macarla Kate. Put these socks in here. And put the chocolate in there. It's such a nice bag. And then the shopping trolley. Look at this. This one even goes in. This one does. And then it's got the initials. Thank you so much. That's really nice to put some mini brands in there. Put that on display with some mini brands. That'll be nice. Right? Oh, so, okay. Just a reminder that... Hi, Winter Snow Owen that tonight 
around 10 o'clock we'll be assembling in Zoom uh, with the grief panel. Now remember, we're going to assemble in Zoom at uh, 10 o'clock. That means I'll put the numbers in the grief panel at 10 o'clock and then we'll be live depending on how many people attend and how quickly we get everybody assembled in there. It sounds like an assembly at school or something. Then look for us live on YouTube anywhere between like 10 and 1030. Okay, and I think right now, I think we have three people other than myself that said, yes, they're going to come and, and be on. But you know how it always gets. There's, there's always more usually. Sometimes there's less. We'll see what happens. All right. Um, it, it, you know what? It's so weird. Jimmy kept saying we were going to have this big storm, this big storm. I didn't go for my walk because he said this big storm. And now I'm like, maybe I should go. Thank you, Martha, for the super sticker. Thank you. Hey, you. So, now, and, uh, now I've got to eat and stuff. I don't know. I've got to go to the doctor tomorrow for just a checkup. My kids are going insane. Everybody, you, there, our, our internet is, like, lagging out. Jimmy, is it okay in there? Jimmy? Nobody can hear me. They sound like they're killing each other. Um, oh, my goodness. Jimmy! Hold on a sec. Let me see. What's going on? Jimmy! Jimmy! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. They are like out of control in there. Nobody can even hear me. Jimmy's in there with them. Yours lags out when it rains? I don't know. I mean, wow. Hold on one second. They're they are like so freaking loud. I, they, they have no idea. They, they still can't hear me. Yeah, this is unbelievable, right? Oh my goodness. And now I just noticed something else that's not good. That's great. Jimmy! What the freak? Hey, Ethan, I'm live! Ethan! Ethan! I am live! This is unbelievable. Oh my goodness. Let me let me go. <laughs> See? This we, this is no this is not a white this is not a white couch blogger uh, episode. Hang on a minute. I just have to see what the freak is going on in here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh
What was that? Oh, oh, oh. oh man. Okay. Sorry. Uh, that's uh, internet problems. Sorry. <laughs> The internet has been lagging all day. They've been getting kicked off their game or whatever happened. I don't know. It's a freaking lunatic zone now. Now everything is okay. I thought there was like, there, I thought there was going to be people killing each other. Wow. Okay. Not for the white, the white couch blogger. Now they're still going on. Oh my gosh. He's still. Ethan! Ethan! Oh my gosh. I don't know why. They're, 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 it's not going to get... It's funny, funny teacup, yeah. It's funny. The, the, this is my neighbors must be like, what in the hell? But you, Jimmy is absolutely deaf. They're all absolutely deaf when, when you're saying anything to them. Oh my gosh. Excitement. Yeah, it's really excitement. I uh, bunch of lunatics is what it is. You've lived it? It's it's ridiculous. Are your boys on a Fortnite kick? Yeah, I it's either Fortnite or it's um Minecraft or it's whatnot, but they were playing some big, I don't know, tournament. What I don't even know what they were doing, but the internet, because somebody down the road is getting internet for the first time or something, I think it's making it worse, and it keeps, what they say, lagging them out. So they're going, they're going nuts. That, oh my gosh, it lagged them out. They lost the game. Like, I mean, and you would think like they lost, you know, any chance they ever had to play that again. Oh, Jimmy is completely deaf, Christo. Uh, from music, yeah, from listening to music too loud. Oh. 20. And then when they all three get going, they can't even hear you. You could be in the same room screaming, right? Listen. And they're all just, they're all just yelling at each other. It's, it's insane. And Jimmy's there, quiet down. Yeah, okay, they're, they're everybody listening. This is crazy. But anyway, where were we? So tonight is the um, grief panel, 10 o'clock, and it'll go online somewhere between 10 and 10.30, depending on when we get set up. McCarla Kate sent this through. Very, very cute. This is from Australia. She also sent, um, for those of you just joining, the socks. Sorry for this discombobulation. This is crazy. Uh, I get an air horn, yeah. Wendy Veal, love this one. Um, the arrow bar and the wombat notepad. Oh my gosh, I almost broke the freaking window trying to get their attention. Yeah, I've had the arrow bars. Somebody said, because I, I mentioned a long time ago, I like the, men are always blind, the chocolate bars. And someone said the arrow bars are the chocolate bars. They're not the chocolate bars, but... um. They are close to it, but not that they're good, but not the chocolate. They're not chocolate bars. I've, I think the chocolate bar is, that's it. They don't make it anymore, and you're not going to find it. Like the um, Curly Whirly is, yes, very much like the Marathon bar that we used to have here. But the uh, the Arrow bars, they're very good, but that's, it's not a chalk, like, I wish I, I have to find the old advertisement for the chocolate bars. These are way lighter than the, than like the chocolate bars. No, it didn't melt. It's, it's pretty good teacup. It's been, it hasn't been that hot here. It's not hot here. It's actually like damp and cool right now because of the rain coming. Oh my goodness. That now they're going to start. Now they're going to oh, come down here again. Now, and now it's, now Luke's lagging. This is insane. Um, used to have flake or crumble, but really flake or cr I'll have to look at those up 90 tomorrow. Where are you, Nicole? 
Oh, and I sent something through to move too because it says Florida is the new going to be the new epicenter of um, this, uh, you know, sea thing. Right, the ickies. You had the storm, Nanette. How long ago? Oh my gosh! I hope it, that that's that's. I hope it doesn't go on when we're doing the grief thing. I I did get some sleep. I know, but I have to be better with my sleep. But I I get excited. Oh, okay. So you're going to be ninety tomorrow. Hmm. Lagging is a catastrophic. Yeah, I lagged out. You would think like I lagged out. I lagged out. I got killed. Or yeah. They, oh my gosh. And then some stupid kid told him, I guess a kid he was playing against, told him that it wasn't that it was lagging out, but it was that this kid, who thought he was a real wise arse, said that he got Ethan's um, IP address and he deliberately took the internet out at the house, like did this crazy CON spiracy stuff. And so then Ethan is like freaking out because then his Ethan's friend said, oh my gosh, because the same thing happened to them because we live close, right? And this kid that's on there said that I got your IP address and I've taken you out and you're not going to get back on like ever. At <laughs> and I'm like, do you realize how stupid that is? You're on the internet now. How do you think he's telling you this? You know, but oh my gosh, it was it was that was that was something. He's like, "Can we do something? Can we call the police? I've called the police. Why? Because this kid said he got us off. I, it's just been nuts. Yeah, he's psyching him out exactly. And so he they were going nuts. And I'm like, I'm on the internet right now. How did he get us off the internet? <laughs> oh my gosh, it was craziness. And but then the kid like sent him. This, I, I don't know how, he sent him like, just like the IP address of like a bunch of people like in the area. And I'm like, okay, that doesn't mean he got us off the internet. And this kid was like, I don't know where, if he was in another country or where the freak he was. But oh my gosh, that was good for like a good half an hour. That was insane. been nutty I still haven't I've been trying to catch up on emails and messages um I can't tell you how far behind I am people sent me messages like June 1st May something I'm just getting to them now and not even anywhere near there have not even opened the mommy rambling stuff I have to do that I'm going to do that now I'm going to open some of that because I I have like sponsors and companies that I work with and I haven't even gone into there it's nuts I have to get that done and some of it, I have to at least open it. I think opening it will be a big thing for me. The numbers are going up and up. I heard that the numbers also went up and jumped in um, in the Carolinas, right? And uh, Arizona's bad. Texas. And... I don't know where else, but I said to Moose, you moved from one epicenter to the other, Alabama too. Hi, Cheryl. I'd like to do, do a do-over on this video. Oh my gosh, if anybody's ever tuning in for this. Oh my gosh, this is nuts. Those gamers, yeah, I'm, uh, yeah. And, and he doesn't understand it, that someone's just doing that to psych them out, but Oh my gosh, that was like, that was good for like a good freak out, nervous breakdown. And Jimmy's had us in the house all day because he keeps looking at his, his radar or whatever the heck it is and keeps telling us that we're going to get a bad storm, a bad storm. So everybody's, otherwise we would have uh, all been out doing stuff, but he's, now I go to him, well, where's the bad storm, Jimmy? It hasn't come yet. And we could have all went for a bike ride and done a bunch of things. No do-overs, that's why Leah. <laughs> Oh boy, this is crazy. This house is very, like some of it's insulated. One time I was in the back of the woods and I twisted my ankle in the woods, right? I don't know what happened. You, I, like there's like holes or whatever. I fell in a, not a fell in a hole, my, my foot fell in a hole and I twisted my ankle. And I wasn't that far from the back of the house, okay? 
maybe, I don't know, a couple of hundred feet or something. And I'm screaming. And I mean screaming, Jimmy, Jimmy. <laughs> right? Because I couldn't, I couldn't put any weight on my ankle. It hurt, really hurt. And I said, I could not get his attention. I'm sure everyone else on this lake heard me. Okay? And I'm thinking any minute someone else is going to be up here. And how embarrassing this is going to be because that's all I'm worried about is how embarrassing this is going to be that it twisted my ankle. But I couldn't get his attention. And like I hobbled back to the house. And I go in and he's just sitting in there like he was on the computer or something. I'm like, you didn't hear me screaming? No, you were screaming? What happened? You know, Seth, so yeah, no, didn't hear me. That's why I said like, Oh my gosh, it's nuts. He can't hear me sometimes if I'm upstairs in the bedroom and screaming, right? Like, Jimmy, I'll, I'll call him. But then I'm just like, this is impossible that he really can't hear me. You fell out of the shower? Oh my gosh, and no one heard you? Isn't that crazy? But then other times, right? Other times, maybe you're getting a piece of chocolate, right? They'll, what are you doing in there? What's going on in there? Like they hear, they, they have the best hearing. I swear to you, anytime, I tell Jimmy this all the time, if I want to make him appear, then I just think of something like either I want to sit quietly or do something and then he, he appears. But if like I need him for something, he's not going to appear. But like if I'm trying to get work done, then he'll come in and tell me 15 stories in a row. Yeah, it's crazy. We have an in-house intercom. We have one, Tina. <laughs> we have one. The crinkling, right? Yeah, absolutely. Or or telephone. Who's that on the phone? Oh. It's crazy. Or if you want to watch, like, a certain show that they don't like and you're just ready to sit down, then bang, he's right there. <laughs> Oh, it's crazy. Just like cops are never, yeah. It's nuts. I just can't believe he couldn't hear. That was insane. And he's in there going, okay, no big deal. Go back and do your thing. And I'm like, oh my gosh. I, do you know how crazy I sounded? Oh my gosh. Like it's a big um, reach for anybody to me to think that I'm crazy, which I am. <laughs> oh, I, yeah, I don't even wear earbuds when I bike because I want to hear the, you know, if there's like, not that we have a lot of traffic, but if there is anything. So I just put my phone, I have a phone holder on my bike handle and I just put it on, um, you know, let it play. Yeah, look, she got me a shopping cart. You didn't see it? She, uh, this is Macarla Kate. She got me this. It's copper, black handle, and it's from Australia. It says mini shopping trolley, and it's a double decker. Look at that. And it really works. I mean, these go in. This goes in. You know what would be really cute? If they had a, a little seat that worked and you could put a little doll in there, that would be really cute. So it has wheels on the bottom, and then look. It's personalized. And then she got koala socks, a mint arrow bar. And see, that is the same brand that made the, the um, Chocolate bar. Similar, but not, not exactly it. And then, um, still good. This is the Wombat Australia pad. And it came in this really nice gift bag. So thank you, Marcarla Kate, AASB. Um, oh, and then, and then Jimmy finds out, listen to this one. <sighs> we had some laundry detergent, okay, that was at the other house. Now, it was our laundry detergent. My brother was coming up, because it, it, I know this sounds like crazy, but, so I, I said, grab our laundry detergent, and Jimmy grabbed our laundry detergent, and then he put it in the other van, the older van, right? 
I don't know where he put it, how he put it. Okay. And hey, McCarla Kate, thank you. Oh, you don't have to do that. Oh, you're too generous. Thank you. Thank you. I love it. So today, he comes in smelling like the laundry soap we use is a concentrate. So if you get if you spill a little, it's it has a very very you know, it's potent. So I'm like, what is that? And he's like, you know what he says? Listen. Well. You know, I, how did he blame this one? Uh, he, first he says he took the car and he stopped short because he was turning into the Dollar General to look for balls. And when he did that, I forget what he said, went flying. Something went flying. Oh, his pepper plant. He bought a pepper plant, but the plant was fine, okay? Then, in that van, oh my gosh, it's going to rain now. See? Well, at least I couldn't have taken my walk. So he, he goes like this. The uh, laundry detergent spilled. Thankfully, it spilled on a contractor bag. Okay? But the whole, well, it smells good, but he's like the tambourines. This thing he had with the tambourines and a soundboard. He's lucky nothing got ruined. But then everybody else, he's like, well, this, uh, you know, I didn't realize that. And Michael had the car. I'm like, Michael had the, how would he even know you, you put the laundry detergent in there? I was, it, was, it was hysterical. But the, it smells like laundry detergent, like you can't believe, because I guess he got it all over his clothes. And um, that was fun. And I said, did you get it on the, no, I said, because if you got it in the car, then I've got to take the carpet cleaner thing and get it out because that's going to be ridiculous. But he said, no, it went all over a contractor's bag. So it's just, it's been one thing after another today. Now, now it's stopping. Now the rain's stopping, but I wouldn't have ever chanced that. Because... Oh, Nanette, probably from, from like Johnson City from Wegmans probably an hour and 10 minutes. Why did you just get, when did yours go through? Hi, Carol Plant. Oh, Teresa, we've had, yeah, wait till you rewind this. Jimmy was ridiculous, all of them, all three boys in there. They couldn't hear me. I had a bang on the windows. <sighs> Even when I went inside, I was screaming. They couldn't hear me. With head, oh, the headphones, yeah, they're, they're great. Yeah, we'll probably do something like that, um, Ace B. I am going to, ch I have to go to the doctor tomorrow, so maybe I will um, check my local Walmart for balls, different balls. I don't know. I feel like I'm getting... I don't really need, the only things I really need are the mini chili, this, this, the little chili. I need one package of the Dove soaps with the gold. And what else? I really would love, I, I don't know why they don't put a lot of butters in there, but. It's just crazy though, because if they're not going to release you know, they'll release uh, the twos in November, right? And then, then you know why they're doing that, because it'll be a mad rush for Christmas, and people will be paying 23 like that, that crazy lady that paid, like, I don't know how many, how much per ball to get those for her kids. They, that's what they know, and that's why they're probably not releasing them until November, because they want to make them, like, scarce, and then all the parents will be paying scalpers, Do the good balls come from sunrise? I don't know. I, Nufi got them. I kept, Nufi told me that she just got them on Amazon or something. You got lucky and pulled a gold shake today. Really? What? What was your what? What? Um, what was your date on your ball? They calling for you sounded like it. They calling for you. They calling for you. No, they're not calling for me. 
You mean my? You mean Jimmy and the kids? Are they calling me, Christo? Nobody's calling me. I can see Jimmy in the kitchen. He's not calling anybody. He's walking around. He's looking at me now. Can I ask somebody something? What do you do with a um, a really huge, um, you know those antennas that people used to have on their roofs? Right? What do you do with those? I'm hearing this really big, it sounds like a bird behind me. Make myself a large mini mart. No, really, seriously, does anybody ever had to find, um, that's a great question. Yeah, because when I built the house, we had, this antenna was like probably, because we needed it, believe it or not, to get the radio stations for like the intercom stereo right and we needed it for tv we didn't even have they didn't even have cable out here when we built this house and they did not have um of course they didn't have internet because it wasn't even a thing but you couldn't you could not get cable and at that time you had to get one of those huge satellite dishes and i said no freaking way am i putting one of those satellite dishes and so what we did is we got a really big antenna and then the kids were really little so they watched like DVDs and as long as I got like stations two, four, seven, I could watch 2020, I could watch the news, I was good. And we actually did not, oh my gosh, it was a long time because I just had like network TV with that antenna. Believe that. Um, didn't get the uh, anything until I think my, my daughter would remember exactly. I think it was like five years. And because that's because they had the little, the little dish ones. So we got that. And then they told me they would never put cable through, but they did. They put cable through and, and oh gosh, I think it was like when Ethan, um, was it when Ethan was born? Somewhere like that, like 2007, 2008 finally put cable through I think no it's it's not on my roof Brianna when they redid my roof last year they took it down now here's here's what I thought okay Jimmy goes because they had it down so the guys and it's huge it is so huge the guys go you don't want this back up there right and Jimmy's like no I knew immediately then that that antenna was going to sit on the grass behind the garage forever, okay? So I, the only reason I'm asking you is I just looked at it now. You know what it looks like? It, it looks like one of those rakes. That's what it looks like. It's so huge. And I said to Jimmy the other day, what do people do with these? Why don't you ask somebody what people do with these? Maybe somebody has a use for these. Because, and he goes, okay, I'll look it up. And do you think he's looked it up? Mm -mm. And I'm um, sorry, right there. If you want it gone. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do that. Um, I think I'm going to just find it out myself. <laughs> Sassy. Because I, you know what I said, Sassy? I said, you know what? If I knew it was going, because it's been out here a year now, okay? If I knew it was going to sit there, I'd tell him to put it back on the freaking roof. Because that roof is so high that it was on, you never even see it. And it wouldn't be out in the yard. And he goes, well, we don't need that. What would we want it on the roof for? 
And I'm like, well, what the freak do we want it on the ground for? Oh my gosh. Scrappers will take it. That's what I'm saying. They, they probably will because call a company. Yeah, I am, I am, I'm going to take matters into my own hands with that. That's right, Sassy. I know that. Or you know what? As soon as I get like halfway through the call, then he'll come and say, oh, I'll take care. Let me hear. I'll take care of that now. That's what he does when I clean the stove, okay? Because he'll come in like I'm, it's almost, oh, I was going to do that. Okay. I'm done now. Try the CB come. Scrappers took your washer. Okay. But yeah, this thing, I've, I've asked him for weeks and weeks, would you please find out what people do with this thing? Because it, it's huge. It's, I mean, look at it. It's easily 10 feet across onto that big thing on the top. And then the pole is, the pole's probably seven, eight feet tall. And then it's got those other rods that are on the top. Yeah, but we don't live in an area like that, Jessica. We, we live in a very, um, it's a, just a private lake, very few homes. You know what I mean? We don't live on a well-traveled, it's a yeah, private road. It's, would never be taken. A metal, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can post it and let go or something like that. Though he tells me he posted like a couple of things for free. And like, and he says to me, nobody's, and they were good things, okay? And believe, whenever I post something for free, I have people like right then and there. And these, this was like a stroller and something else. And I go, you telling me that no one's, you know, said anything about that? He goes, let me check if I did this right or something. I, I know he didn't. It's crazy. But truthfully, I would have just put the, just told him, just put it back on. I, if, they, if they would have asked me, I would have said, just put it back on the freaking roof because he's never going to get rid of it. Yeah, I'll try to find out, J.A., if anybody can use it, because it is, it is a good one, so I don't know. <sighs> yeah. Metal trays for the eyes. I like 13 bucks. He doesn't have to know it on top. <sighs> yeah, I, I wish they would have told me, though, Jessica. They asked him, and he's like, no, don't put it back up. That's what Google suggested? Okay. So ridiculous. Whenever he says, just do, just for now, I'll take care of it. It doesn't get done. I'll take care of it later. He is building the platform for the shed, believe it or not. But do you know he's been at it for like four days now? And half of it was, no, I should say three quarters of it was built. On, on the other shed. I'm just waiting. I go, so is it all done? He goes, yeah. And then he told me something like, overthinking it again, that he wanted to stain the w And I said, what wood do you want to stain? And he says, like, the one that won't even, it won't even be exposed to weather. Like, the floor of the shed sits on it. And first of all, if he wants to stain it, we have all the stain. So he's like, Okay, yeah, and I'm like, so it's pretty much ready then, right? Yeah. Okay, so now I'm thinking, it's crazy. Now it's gonna, now it's going to rain. We've had like days without rain, but hopefully we'll get it over. But it, like the, it's just so ridiculous. Anyway, I'm gonna go get dinner and. Uh, 
see you guys around like, um, to, like I said, a little after 10, 1030. <laughs> yeah. Tell them later, put up the penny. And then um, after that, we'll have a fun live. We're going to have like uh, some rules this time, just so that we don't go too long. Just, you know, maybe say uh, 15 minutes or I don't know, like whatever. I'm going to see if I can find some, some rules that are in other groups like that. Just to, just to say, because it's not going to be like 15, 20 minutes and then, you know, what it's going to be about and whatever. So we'll see if we can... Because I, you know, we don't want to go on until two in the morning with that group, but because it's it's a very emotional. I'll be there, so I'll be there. It's almost nine o'clock. Jimmy's saying, "Okay, see now he's gonna rush me to hell." Okay, um, all right. I'll talk to you guys later. Love you. See you later. Bye. Let's see here.